Let's take a look at NordPass. Now in this video, I'm gonna tell you why I switched over to NordPass. I've been using another uh, password manager for a while, and when I say using, I mean I was mostly just, I had it in case I needed it, but I never really used it because the interface was so clunky that I never wanted to do much with it. And I got some emails from the people at NordPass, and I didn't respond to them immediately. And then I decided, you know, one day I'm just gonna go over here and check it out because I, I need something to save time when I'm always entering all this information on the internet. So I did this, I came over here to nordpass.com, and got the free download to start to try it out. And as soon as it's finished, you can click to import passwords from your browser or your other password managers. It'll even take a CSV file. So however you like, just get your passwords in here. Probably the quickest and easiest part of the entire process is just getting your passwords in here. So after I got the app installed on my computer, I realized that the interface is really clean and intuitive and just easy to use. And I immediately started doing things with this password manager that I'd never done with my other password manager. So I'm putting in my personal information. You can enter in multiple credit cards. And the cool thing about entering in your credit cards, all you have to do is just let it scan your credit card and it'll pull the data from it. You know, it'll take like a, a image of the credit card. And then once you've got that, you can enter in your personal information. So it'll store your address. And then you can go in and and add just more private information if you like and you can and then you can categorize everything into different folders that you make so you can make whatever folders you want one for business one for home one for your secret business now before i get into everything that else that you can do with nordpass uh, i want to talk about the security uh, and the encryption that they've used for this service because that's important to a lot of people. I went on to Reddit to see what people have been saying about it and someone immediately I noticed was really worried. They're like, I'm not gonna let someone just have my credit card information and all my personal information on their servers. That is not how this works. Everything is encrypted locally and then it is sent to their servers and stored on their servers in a completely encrypted state. The only way to unencrypt it is when it comes back to one of your devices and your devices have the key to unlock it. That's the only way. Plus, it's using a better form of encryption than anything else that I've seen. It's using XChaCha20. Right, it's so much fun to say. It's actually difficult to say with a straight face, but that's better than AES-256 by quite a decent margin and also quite a bit faster than AES-256. And they use Aragon2 for their key derivation. So as far as the audit goes, they got Cure53. And Cure53, if you, you can read here, they did some audits for other uh, competing platforms. They've also done audits for different VPNs in the past. And you can see exactly what they said here, but basically everything's encrypted and NordPass has access to none of your private information. It's just a secure service. As far as the download platform, there's a native Linux app. So that's really cool. You can get it on Linux, Mac, Windows. And then as far as the different browsers go, it supports most of the modern browsers. Even if you're using Vivaldi, you should be able to use one of the Edge plugins or I forget if they call them plugins, extensions, add-ons, whatever that is, it add-ons. Use one of the Edge or the Chrome add-ons. I've got mine on Firefox. So you have the browser extension plus the application running. And then when you're on mobile on Android and iOS, you have an application that you can easily access to get all of your sensitive information all in one place. And when you're on your phone, you can secure it with biometrics if you like. You can use the master password. So not only is this like a password manager, it's also a tool to help you generate really strong passwords. So I went over to Newegg and decided to set up uh, just another account for fun. Why not? It's what you do in your spare time. But I wanted to see how everything worked. I let it go ahead and enter in my uh, information. And then when you're generating a password, you can click a button to bring up the options. Now, inside these options, you can select different variables if you want like longer or shorter passwords you can say you want different types of characters and that sort of thing and then right there as you're generating your password you can decide what folder to put this in so since this is new egg i decided to put it in a folder called tech but if it was like something else like amazon i just put it in shopping or whatever but you can make folders right here and it allows you to organize immediately when you're making the password or signing up for a new site after that when it came time to enter in the name and address and also the credit card information, you can just like literally just one click um, or if you know NordPass sees the fields, it can just enter in the data for you. And you can go in and select because you'll have a couple different credit card options. You can go in and select the credit card that you would like and it will fill in the rest for you. Um, the main thing for me is that's a huge time saver and that's something I didn't take advantage of with the other software. 
because like I said, NordPass is just so sleek that now I'm actually using it and that's a big deal for me. So you'll be saving like a lot of time just every day when you're logging into your, like your email. What, what do people use? Gmail, Yahoo, anybody still using Juno, Outlook? Also logging into social media like Twitter and Facebook when you wanna see what your uncle is up to. <laughs> I don't know, why do people log into Facebook? But yeah, you can just use it to log into all your day-to-day -day stuff. And then here's something that I know a lot of people do. Let's say like you log into Netflix, but you also have like some family members who are always like, what's your password all the time? Just tell them, stop asking me. I change my password all the time to make sure it's nice and secure. An easy solution would be if they get NordPass, then you can add them as a trusted contact. So trusted contacts are people that you add to a list and then they have to connect to you by answering some questions back and forth to make sure that you have a full on encrypted connection. You send them, uh, you know, an encrypted file, they, de they decrypt it and once they decrypt it, you're connected and that connection is encrypted. So now you can securely send them your passwords to whatever. You can say like, okay, you need Netflix. Okay, there you go. Oh, oh you're, you're checking out something for the house on, on, on one of our, our shared Amazon account, whatever it is. Here's the password for that. And they can easily access it. It'll be in their Nord Pass, so it'll pop up just like any other password that's on the list. The other thing that's really cool about this is if you have like, you know, shared some passwords for business or something, and then you terminate an employee or some business relationship changes or whatever, you can easily go in, quickly change the password and remove their access from your account to make sure that they're not gonna get uh, your passwords in the future. So with a free account, you can actually do quite a bit. Um, you can use it on different devices. The downside is, is that when you um, have it open on your computer and you also open it on like your phone or something, it logs you out. You just have to go back and put your master password back in on your computer to log back in because you can only be logged into one device at a time. Even though you can have multiple devices, you can have it on multiple computers. Just you have to log into each one as you sit down. Secure notes is another cool little section. Um, you can use it to add know, information about like your passport if you're, no one's traveling. So maybe use it to write down your Wi-Fi codes, uh, they, they say on their website, like alarm codes, whatever else, your friend's birthdays, your anniversary, put that in there so it's uh, always in your secure notes. It'll even let you scan documents for your notes. So I was able to scan some regular documents and it does ADR so it'll allow you to edit the text after you've scanned it. It's pretty handy. I even tried to scan a bottle, which is a curved surface, and that picked up all of the text on the bottle with their serif and sans serif fonts. So it's pretty impressive stuff. And that'll be stored on their server. So anywhere you log in and use your master password or just any app that you use on any of your devices, you'll have access to that information. So the main reason I decided to go um, and go ahead and grab the premium, other than the fact that it's just working and it's really easy, I wanted to be able to log in on all my devices, but there's something else that's more important, and that's the ability to protect yourself from breaches by using two different things that you get when you upgrade to the premium. So first off, you can scan for data breaches and password leaks, and it'll show all of your different accounts in the past that have um, been compromised. You know, like sometimes you'll have like some online store, some little obscure online store that you use, maybe even a big online store like Target will have a breach and it'll say like, hey, some hackers got into Target's database because that happened and downloaded a bunch of, you know, different bits of information. So be sure to change your password. And it'll also say like, look, you're using that same password with Target and Best Buy and five other stores. You better change all of those and then it'll let you easily change all those passwords so that you're not gonna be compromised online. It'll also look at your accounts and identify weaknesses. Now these are not, um, you know, passwords that have been breached, but they are the ones that are gonna be the easiest to breach. So it'll say like, look, these passwords, they're all one, two, three, four. You might wanna change those. And also this password is one, two, three, four, five, but it's also six years old. So you might wanna change that as well. And that's one of the main things. And I think that's, for me, that's worth the price because if one of those breaches ends up like causing a huge headache, premium is gonna pay for itself in the future. This already has enough features for me, plus I like the security. I know there's gonna be a couple people in the comments saying like, this one has some other feature and this one has some other feature. But just in the last few months, if you've been watching this, they have started adding more and more features like some of the notes and stuff on the side and the personal information and just different things that they've been adding to the software. And I know there's gonna be some people who say like, hey, this, this password manager has this and this one has some other features um, that are not available yet in NordPass. So I, I thought about that and I was like, well, I don't really use a lot of the other features that some people need, but I have noticed over the last few months that they've continually been adding 
new features to NordPass. I asked them what is going to be coming next for this app, and they said dark mode. Also, they're going to add some storage so you can upload your passport, document scans, and all that sort of thing. Plus, they're working on web access and some localizations. Just know that this is um, relatively new, especially compared to some of the competitors. So there's going to be some new features on the horizon soon. But the primary focus was really just on getting a very sleek and extremely functional app. To me, that's why I'm using it, because it's just it's easy to use and it saves me a lot of time. So, so I'm actually glad that I decided to install NordPass because now everything's a little bit easier for me. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know uh, if you're going to be using this. Let me know if you test it out because, you know, like I said, you can get it for free and use pretty much everything. You'll have to re-log in when you go from platform to platform. So I would highly recommend grabbing it, checking it out. And once you see how easy it is, then you'll be like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get that. So again, NordPass is free and I've got a link in the top of the description where you can grab it. Let me know if you're going to switch over to this or not. Let me know in the comments. I'm curious.